Chelsea against West Ham in the second semi-final. There's David Webb, the Chelsea outfield player, and their goalkeeper, Peter Bonetti. On the opposition side, Graham Patton, who joined West Ham from Norwich this season, and 18-year-old Mervyn Day, who's just been picked for the England under-23 side. And he's going to start off in familiar role in goal against David Webb. Battling for a place in the final against Spurs. Webb, familiar number six shirt against Mervyn Day. He didn't really hit it hard enough and so Mervyn Day picks up two points for West Ham. Six points at stake. Outfield player against the goalkeeper. That evens it up to a piece. Two points for the goal, two points for the save. And the miss would give a point to the goalkeeper. That was a rather pathetic remark because uh, the goalkeeper gets a point, so West Ham in the lead three against two. Now Graham Padden of uh, more than useful left foot against Peter Bonetti. And again, first blood for the goalkeeper. That's perhaps the best save we've seen so far in this competition. 4-3, Chelsea. Padden coming up for his second shot. And that puts West Ham ahead, goalkeeper going the wrong way and the ball tucked just inside the post. 5-4 to West Ham. And Padden going the other way and Bonetti a little unlucky, it seemed to bounce just in front of him. But West Ham a lead of seven points to four at the end of the first round. Now the goalkeeper's chance to get into the scoring act. Three points for each goal. And that's three points for Mervyn Day, putting West Ham further ahead at 10-4. He's obviously enjoying it. David Webb, not unfamiliar in the goalkeeping position. He has played there in a full league match for uh, Chelsea. But he can do nothing about that. Goalkeepers proving themselves to be rather better penalty takers than the penalty takers are goalkeepers. And a full house for Mervyn Day, so West Ham leading 16-4. So Peter Bonetti, all that's really left for him is to uh, save Chelsea's face a bit. And prove his own marksmanship, nicely taken with the inside of the foot. 16-7 in West Ham's favour. Never seen Graham Padden in goal before. I don't know whether he's uh, had his chance. Again, the inside of the foot, even better penalty, right into the stanchion at the back of the goal. 10-16. If Bonetti can sink this, there will be just three points in it, but West Ham assuredly in the final. He shows you can do it both ways, some good penalty taking by Peter Bonetti, but West Ham, the winners by 16 points to 13, and they will meet Spurs in the final. The West Ham team in the final. Graham Padden and uh, the goalkeeper young Mervyn Day. Spurs with Mike England and Barry Danes. And the first penalty is to be taken by Graham Padden against Barry Danes. Graham Padden who scored two out of three in the semi-final against Chelsea. Barry Danes who didn't stop one but scored all his three against Ipswich. So Padden against Danes. And he hits the crossbar. So he gets a point for that right up on the angle. Danes in the wrong area of the goal, but uh, 
Patton just getting the one point and not two. Six points at stake. Makes it a total of three. Two points for the goal, one point for the hit woodwork. Bit of theatricals from Barry Danes. Patton's third try. Bit of movement by the goalkeeper, but he out thinks Graham Patton, so makes the save. Well, in fact, the referee wants it taken again for that movement. No doubt that it was there. So not a chance for Graham Patton. He's moving again. Ah! But surely one of the worst penalties that Graham Patton has ever taken, straight across the heels of uh, Barry Danes. And so West Ham with a lead of just 3-2 at the end of uh, Patton's attempts. Now, Mike England against Day. Clean as a whistle, tucked into the corner. So Spurs now in front by four points to three. Again, six points at stake. Two points for each goal when the outfield player is taking the penalties. It's moved up to three points when the goalkeeper takes the penalties. Other side. Day going the wrong way. 6-3 to Tottenham. So England have got five points out of six in the semi-final. A chance of six out of six in the final. Which he takes well. Day again trying to put him off with a bit of body movement, although his feet were still. So maximum points for Mike England. 8-3 to Spurs is the lead. And now Barry Danes. Let's see if he can emulate the performance of Mike England. Just a little shuffle up and a very simple goal. 11-3 now to Spurs. And West Ham really looking to Graham Patton to keep them in this competition. Spurs running away with it and continuing to do so. In spite of the fact that Patton moved then. 14-3. And another full house. So Tottenham, although they haven't needed penalties in the European competition this season, showing that they can take them. 17-3, the lead. So really just up to Mervyn Day to prove that uh, West Ham goalkeepers can score penalties as well. And he does. Quite a bit of pace in that. Mike England, I think, just got a finger to it. 6-17. Nine seventeen. But England perhaps doing rather better than he did in the semi-final. Making up his mind which way he wants to go, and although he was wrong then, at least it gives him some sort of chance. So the last penalty of the competition. And it's one that's been missed. So Spurs double the points of West Ham, win this penalty competition by 18 points to nine. With both Danes and England scoring all their penalties. Padden scoring just one and Mervyn Day scoring just two. Players going off surrounded by youngsters for their autographs and Spurs the winners. <laughs>